and then i had there was this woman from ecuador she told me that all black people smell right wow. and the guy was like you're being racist it was a really horrible experience uh Friends, as you already know, this channel is all about positivity. Currently, I am the only African in the MPA program in my department. And I must be honest with you, I am enjoying the massive support from both faculty and staff and my colleague students. I am really feeling at home. However, same cannot be said about other international students in other countries or in other universities. Sometimes life happens and a lot of international students go through a lot of unexpected experience. For this video, I had a conversation with an African lady who studied in the UK and she is going to share her unfortunate experience as an African lady who doubles as an international student. Remember, this video is for educational and informational purposes and not to hurt any sentiment. If you're ready, let's get into the video. In case this is your first time meeting me, thank you for subscribing and you're welcome. My name is Frederick. As at the time of recording this video, I am a second year MPA student and a research assistant. I already hold a first master's degree from Ohio University. Now, based on the experience I've had studying abroad and also as assisting a lot of international students to their dream universities and programs, I decided to create this channel to share with you education and scholarship opportunities abroad, visa interview tips, and generally life abroad. I would love to have you join the Fred Effect family if this is the kind of content you're interested in. Please click on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified and you can easily check it out. If you give this video a like, it helps the channel to grow. Please do so. Thank you. So if you're ready, let's get into the video. So hi, welcome and thank you for making time. Hi Fred and thank you so much for having me on your channel. It's a pleasure to be here. So I know a lot of people know you but for um, our new subscribers, can you please introduce yourself? You tell us uh, which university you studied in and what program? Okay, great. So my name is Zarina. So you can call me Z and that's why my channel is Z Study Hub. Um, I studied my master's at the London School of Economics and Political Science, which is um, a leading university in the UK, just saying. <laughs> I studied a master's in communication and development. And that was after studying my undergrad in Ghana, I went, came to the UK on the Chevening Scholarship and studied okay a master's in media communication and development and um, I'm currently in the UK uh, working with the University of Sussex as a digital content officer on a contract and it's been a great experience. So, so you studied communication at a school that is noted for economics. Oh, okay. You know, how come is the London School of Economics and off the top everybody thinks that it's only economics they do there. Mm -hmm. What are some of the programs they do there that other people should apply to? Oh, thanks for asking that, Fred, because I think that there could be some misconception, which is now, it's not, the law, it has a really long name, London School of Economics and Political Science. Oh, so, okay. Okay. yeah, that is the, the long name or the full name. It has, we do a lot of courses there. It's mm -hmm. consistently, I mean, at some point, it was the best in the UK for the social sciences. Okay. It probably still is. I haven't checked the rankings now. Mm -hmm. And imagine a university that's for economics being the best in the uk for communication studies because that's why i went there okay. uh, so the if you want to do law you can do law at the lse uh, i have a friend who did public health mm -hmm. at the LSE. um economics of course um human resources mm -hmm. the, it's just the the university as for social sciences okay so, okay uh, in the social sciences it's it's a great place for you to study great so um let's talk about you know um your previous qualification prior to relocating to the uk to study what was your qualification back home okay so i went to the ghana institute of journalism okay uh, we call it gid for short mm -hmm. and i studied uh, a bachelor of arts in communications okay. and i in journalism so um that sort of gave me a foot in i'm trying to tread cautiously on this sensitive topics and all that and um the next thing i, I want to ask is is as, mm. as a black woman from ghana from africa 
studying in the UK, did you ever experience racism? You know what? To be very honest, I think UK racism is subtle. So it's they won't do it to you in your face, right? But it's lurking around somewhere. Um, so sometimes it's in the things that they say, it's in the things that they do. But I had an explicit one when i was so you know if you're in the uk you're allowed to work for up to 20 hours a week okay. um, you can work on your tier two student visa and i decided to work at a place so i, I went to work in a nice gross, um, restaurant it's like a food chain of sorts yeah. and they have which is salads and stuff like that because i love their food and i was like okay let me see if they have vacancies and then i started working in the kitchen and then i had there was this woman from ecuador which is really interesting because sometimes minority groups do it to each other yeah right? and in a conversation she she told me that all black people smell right wow. literally like verbatim she so she she, she so the first time it was just a conversation. I was telling her that, oh, maybe her son will marry a black girl, or maybe she will marry a black man, something of that sort. And I was just like, no. So she's the first thing she said was that all black men smell. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean by that? Just like, yeah, all black people smell. And I, so there was this guy from Mexico who was also working in the kitchen, and the guy was like, you're being racist. And she was like, me being racist? No, no. You know how people tend to want to defend themselves and make it seem like you are putting a tag on them for being racist when they're actually being racist yeah. um it was a really horrible experience and that was like the very explicit explicit experience of racism that i had and this was from someone that of course she's lighter she's caucasian you can say but mm -hmm. she's also in the minority in that context because um people from ecuador depending on where they are can also be minority and i'm not saying this despite everyone from ecuador it was her just to make it very clear it was her it was her own perspective it was her own racism or racist abilities tendencies whatsoever that made her do what she did mm -hmm. so that, that was like my very explicit racist experience well let, let's talk about campus you know this was outside campus right so you studying on campus, were there any other experience you could share? The good thing about the LSE is that we have 70% international students. It's a huge, okay. the university that a lot of people like from all over the world like going to. So we have a huge international student body. I haven't had that experience before um, at the LSE, if I'm going to be really honest. There are professors who may say something and think they mean something, but yeah. actually you the one in the minority or the one from wherever they are saying sort of understands it differently and mm -hmm. i remember there was a time i was in, um, in 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 class and one of our professors said something about um so it was so you know i did media communications uh, yeah there was this thing she wanted to show a clip about africa something related to nollywood so mm -hmm. example of nollywood and then she this was 2020 2019 and she went to show a video from osofia in london <laughs> now <laughs> osofia in london one at the time it was done the video quality is not as high as what nollywood produces today that is one thing yes, secondly it shows a man holding a jute bag aka what the nigerians call ghana must go carried mm -hmm. running around london acting like someone who is lost or a villager or whatsoever and that is the clip of the example of nollywood that of all of, i remember the time i had just watched sugar rush on netflix it was just really really good and i was like wait if you want to show something from um nollywood of all of the things this is the movie you're going to use so i really didn't say anything at the end of the the the, the lecture i was leaving and then there's this Asian girl who ran after me. She's like, this is easy. No, what is it? She said, what did you think about that yeah. um, example? Of it? She said she would have been mad and whatnot. I'm like, yeah, I don't know why she used that. But yeah, so it, it turns out that other people also noticed it. And they're like, yeah. But even though some people noticed it, maybe some people also in their heads feel like, oh, so is that what really it is? This is so-called Nollywood. This is what Africa is because already they have this image in their minds um of course i mentioned it to my program director um afterwards and then she mentioned that old i mean she, she had a similar feedback some i think some of the students also noted it so they sort of communicated to that lecturer yeah.
As I explained from the start of the video, this video was purposely for educational and informational purposes. And by no means are we trying to hurt any sentiment. If you plan to study abroad, some of these experiences, situations and happenings should not deter nor scare you. We are not in a perfect world and some things like this would happen. Most universities, colleges and educational institutions around the world are doing their best to create a very conducive and welcoming environment for international students to make them really feel at home whilst they are away from home. In the comment section, let me hear your thoughts on her experience. If you are schooling anywhere around the world, share with me in the comment section some of your best experience. If you have any suggestions or advice, let us know in the comment section. What do you actually do on your YouTube channel? So on my YouTube channel, which is called Z Study Hub, um, it's like I, like I say, it's your home for scholarships, university applications, and generally studying abroad. As that one place where I have found a lot of joy in sharing useful information with people. Mm -hmm. So basically what I talk about on the channel is to talk to people about how to apply to their universities or mm -hmm. so maybe the university that they can apply to without um, application fees or universities that have very good scholarships or maybe the achievement scholarship um how to write the four essays of the achievement scholarships so yes i would encourage people to subscribe because i have more experience with the uk but then again i do a lot of research in and i'm very intentional about telling people um what to do because i know that sometimes it's so overwhelming because we've all been there before so yeah generally if anyone wants to study abroad they should check out z study hub and that's on youtube and subscribe and kindly share it with people to also see and benefit from the content and if you're on instagram you can also find um, me on instagram at z study hub i am always grateful to you that you subscribe to this channel my name is fred and this is the fred effect i'll see you in another video <music>